These are four solutions to help you combine your files into one PDF. Merging PDF documents into a single document sounds more complicated than it actually is. But really, it's a very simple task. Combining PDFs is a very simple action, and it's recommended if you want to avoid troubles like having more PDF documents than you actually need, organizing your PDFs in a way that's less complicated, and to protect the information within your PDFs in case you accidentally delete or overwrite one of the other files. These situations should be avoided, and in this video you're going to learn 1. How to combine multiple PDFs into a single document 2. Combine images and convert them into a PDF file 3. Convert multiple file types and merge them into one PDF and 4. Merge PDFs and compress them to save space. By the end of today's video you're going to know how to convert multiple different file types and merge them all into single PDFs that help you save space. Interesting, right? Let's get into it. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Before we get started, please confirm that you have the most up-to-date version of PDF Element installed. You can download this from the PDF Element website using the link in the description below this video. Remember that PDF Element is fully compatible with Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. Number one, combining multiple PDFs into one document. If you work as a designer, you probably use several PDFs at any one time, always opening them separately in a way that's just not efficient. Through PDF Element, you can forget about this thanks to the fact that the software makes it possible to combine multiple PDFs into one. Combining PDFs allows you to combine all the information of several PDFs into one document, and this task will take you very little time. So I'm gonna show you just how easy this is using a Windows device. First of all, open your PDF with PDF Element and go to the Tools tab. You will see some icons with their functions. Open Combine. You'll see a dialog box where you can add files. To do so, click Add Files on the top part of the window. Search the files you want to add through Windows File Explorer and once you finish, click open. Now you see the list of files which will be combined. If you want to combine specific pages of a document, don't worry, it is possible through PDF element. You will only have to click the arrow next to the document on the page range section and write the pages you want to add. Once you confirm the files and pages, click apply and wait a few seconds to see your new combined PDF file. Your combined PDF file will open automatically. Just confirm that the files and pages you added are there. Number two, combine images and transform them into one PDF. Being a teacher may mean handling many different images with different types of content to facilitate the teaching process. Opening and closing different graphic content can become tedious, but you can avoid all of this if you can just combine them into one PDF. Yes, that's right. Through PDF Element, you can combine all these images into a single PDF file. Open your file with PDF and go to the Tools tab. Once you are there, click on the Combine icon. You can add the images using the dialog box. You can add them by dragging and dropping, or you can click Add Files and search the Windows File Explorer for your images of choice. You can search the images you want to combine on the Windows File Explorer, just select them and click open to add them to your combine tool. The selected images should be displayed in the list of the combine tool window. Check if all of them are listed and click apply to combine the images. We have finished. The PDF file is ready here. All you have to do is confirm that all of the images you wanted to add are in your PDF file. Scroll down and check them here in detail. Number three, convert multiple file types and merge them into one PDF. Working with different types of files is part of the everyday process for different industries such as engineering. To do this, it is necessary to open these different file types using different applications. This problem is very inefficient and luckily we have a solution using PDF elements. By merging these different file types into a single PDF, you can save all that time of opening and closing different applications for each individual file type. By having all this data in a single document, you can stay more organized and more efficient in your workday. Open your PDF file with PDF element, then go to the Tool tab and select Combine. To start adding different types of files, click the Add File button to open a window where you can select the files to combine. In this dialog box, you can search for the files you want to combine. Make sure you have selected all the files of your choice and then click Open. You will see a list of different types of files you selected. Confirm all of them are there and just click the Apply button. This will automatically combine the files. Just wait for a few seconds to see your combined file. Your new combined PDF is ready. Make sure all the content of your selected files are there. And that was easy, wasn't it? Number four, merge PDFs and compress them to save space. If you're a student, we all know you have too many documents and it's difficult to save space on your device. But don't worry, with PDF Element, we can compress all these associated PDF files into one document to help you save space. Compressing your merged PDFs into one file will not only save you space on your SSD or hard drive, this action will also help you save space on flash 
drives and SD cards. First, open the Combine tool, which is in the Quick Tool section. On this window, click Add Files to add the PDFs to Combine. Search the PDFs you want to combine and add them by clicking on the Open button. Confirm that the files you want to combine are there and click the Apply button. Wait for a few seconds and all of your PDFs will be merged. Your combined PDF will automatically open. I recommend that you check it all to confirm that all the PDFs were merged correctly. Now it's time to compress the file. Go to the compress tool here and open it by clicking the compress button from the tool section at the top of your screen. After opening the combine tool, you will have to select the type of compression you want to set. High compression will reduce the quality of your document to a low level. Medium compression will decrease the quality of the file, but to a lesser extent. And finally, low compression will maintain high quality. Once you have chosen the type of compression, click the apply button. This will create a new compressed version of your original file. Your compressed file will be ready and it will be opened in a new tab of PDF element. Now you just have to save it. To do this, click on the file tab and choose save. Select the place to store the file, and that's it. Compressing and merging files has never been so easy, right? I really hope these four tips on combining your PDFs has been useful to you. As you may notice, this is very straightforward to achieve and it can accomplish lots of different tasks. And from now on, you'll be able to merge these files like a pro. And this is all about merging PDFs, images, and files into a single PDF document. Do not forget to hit the like button down below and share your questions in the comments. Check out our channel and search for different keywords that you might be interested in. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on future tip videos. See you later.